CCM Blender Complete Character Modeling Course. So it's level one part four, which is the final part. And in this part, we will be just rigging our character. So we will be doing this from really scratch and we will uh, add also the IK bones and do all of the stuff. So it's going to be too interesting and let's begin. Okay, so first of all, shift S and cursor to the port origin and now shift A and come up here and to the armature to add a single bone. As you can see, it's a single bone. So I will go to the front view and move this thing up and just scale this thing. And as you can see, uh, the bone is having, the one side is having like uh, the top of the head and the one is bottom. So the cover, our card set is, uh, our pivot is in the bottom. So we have to take care of this thing a little that it will be rotating from this side okay so for the spine i have to just add some spine bones so one two and this one three and this one will be the neck and then the head one so that's the simple structure or and for the arms we have to just shift d duplicate this thing and rotate it something like this move it here and now this one should be up to here to the to this joint and now extrude one more time to this joint and for the hand i'm just like uh i'm not doing the advanced structure actually but so for that it's simply like i will be extruding one bone so it will be rotating our head okay so for this one you have to just shift t and make sure that you red rotate your bone so the tail uh, the head is actually to the down one and the reason is that if i just move this thing here and tap and go to the pose mode as you can see if i move this bone it's actually moved from this side so this is what we actually want it so from the side view let me do some simple adjustment that we have to put this bone a little here and then e extrude and then e extrude so that's i think the simplest structure that you ever seen so now we have to do a painful thing and that is renaming our bone structure we always had this thing okay so let's start it from the head so i, I will do the head one first so head and this one would be the neck and this is the spine so spine one and i will just control c copy this name and this one will be spine two let me just add a two here and then this one spine three okay so that's it and for the arm we have to do it like uh, arm one maybe it's like totally up to you that how you want how you really want to rename it oh and i forgot the thing that uh, we have to define that it's uh we have to also define that it's in left arm or right arm so after that i will just like dot l okay so it's the capital l and do the same exact thing follow this thing because this will be useful useful in future okay so we will be using the name and we will be getting some benefit from it so this one is like arm um, two dot l actually dot l and this will be uh let me just put this thing a little here so a little adjustment okay and now this one is hand dot l so that's the left one and now it's the leg okay so leg dot one and this is leg dot two and the final one is the actually the feet one so feet dot l okay so we complete these things and now we have to just control a and apply scale and rotation to this one and also control a and apply scale and rotation to this one but as you can see there is one in the back okay we don't see it but we have to not to see it uh, we have to have this also so we have to go to the object data properties and in the visibility uh, in the viewport display we have to turn on in front so now we can see our bones in front every time even like it's behind our object Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is uh, make sure that it works fine. Let me just rotate this. And as you can see, there is like one problem. I see this thing. Uh, it actually, uh, I can I can fix 
makes this thing as you can see like it's uh, the arm is attached with this one as you can see it's training with that with this one we also have good angles with this one okay so let me just select this one and this one and control b and adding a keep offset and now if i just go to pause mode and i rotate this thing as you can see our arm is now also moving with that same thing that i need to do is that uh, if i just rotate this thing as you can see it should be separated like this and one more thing that we need to do is that this one should be also uh, moving all the character or we have to add a, uh, another one for it so i'm just uh, shift d and duplicate and make this one down so this will be like the center main control bone so we'll be controlling all from this one so select all with a control p and make this keep offset so now if i just go to the offset or uh, go to the pose mode as you can see by just moving this uh, one bone we can actually move all of the stuff Okay, so the next step is that we have to mirror our bone. So for that, I have to just uh, come up here and click on X. So we have to mirror, mirror this thing to X. And now just select all the bones that we need to mirror. And now right click and make this thing symmetrize. And it didn't work because uh, I didn't add the dot L to the legs so i'm just uh, let me just add this thing dot l and also this one dot l and the feet one dot l it's already uh, dot l okay so now just select it as you can see the names namings are really important and without this we can we cannot symmetrize this thing and as you can see if i just symmetrize this thing it actually worked and it's pretty much good and this is ready to go okay so the next thing is to attach our body to this character so i'm just selecting my mesh and then shift and select the bones and control p and then do it with automatic pets one thing that we need to do is go to the pose mode select this one go to the bone setting and then we have to turn on the default because it in this bone won't be attached to any of the mesh it will be just attached to this structure actually so yeah, as you can see, this is working fine now. Okay, so I'm getting a few of the uh, weight paint issues. As you can see, if I just move this thing, as you can see, all of the uh, our feet moves, but I don't really want it. So we have to just fix that. So I'm just go to the object mode, shift and select the body, and tab to go to the weight paint mode. And now I can just select any bone. Uh, first of all, deselect all the bones. So Alt A to just deselect that, and then Shift and Left click to just select a bone. And if I just press T, we get all the options that we can control the bed form. So I have to just select this one. This is the gradient one. So if I just drag this thing, as you can see, it's creating a gradient. But for now, it's going to be like adding beds. As you can see, the blue one is like no bed here, and the sky blue is like. Adding a little bit up, and then the green is a little more, the yellow is a little more, orange is a little more, and the red is like uh, it's completely moving this thing. Okay, so we have to just decrease the weight, something like this. And now, if I just drag, it will just start removing this thing. So I can do it this thing softly, like this. This is fine now. Shift right click here, do the same things. And this is pretty much going to be good now. Okay, some adjustment from here. And shift right click, some adjustment from here. Okay, some more stuff if you wanna do. Also this one is a little bit more like that, so I don't really need this. I want to be like sharp moving. So this is like totally depend on you that which type of movement that you want. Okay, the final thing that uh, we are going to learn is that how to do the eye gas down. So I will go to the pose mode and now I have to go come up here to the own constraint properties and here I can add the inverse kinematic. So we have to select this, uh, this mode and now I will add this thing. And now I have to tell that how many bones are in the chain. So there are like two bones. And now if I just move this.
this thing as you can see it's working like this and as you can see if like it work in word you can what you can do is you can go to the edit mode move this thing a little to the back and now if i just move this thing as you can see it's always work good now the same thing that you need uh, you can do with this one so i'm just selecting this bone and adding an ik and then telling that there is two bones and now if i just move this thing as you can see we get this kind of it wants ik setup so we have to do this one uh, adding two uh, chains and as you can see it's working also this side ik constraint two chains and this is pretty much great so i think that's it we learned how to rank our character very simply we get all the rules and all the concepts that you need to learn from for ranking so in the next level which is the level two we will be creating an advanced character which will be having uh, the facial stuff and after that we will also texturing it completely like texturing the skin texturing the costume and also rigging a little advanced so stay tuned with us and subscribe for just supporting and stay tuned bye